Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So today I am doing another wine app. This is called Cellar Tracker. So let's open it up. Wine reviews and cellar management tools. Cool. Uh, I guess create account. Will you let me log in through social? No. Wow, this is... All right, I will see you guys in a few minutes. All right, so I went ahead and finished the registration process, got through that boring part. Um, kind of disappointed it didn't allow me to log in using social media. That would have been much easier, but I mean, okay, whatever. So let's take a look here. So for search, let's do a barcode. Yes, I will take allow you to take permission. All right, so I got this Frontera. Oh, and I got a match, awesome. Um, Let's see, it's a 2016, so I got that on there. That's that's not bad. So uh, I got that on there, and I want to add that to my cellar. I have one bottle. It's in my cellar. Um, storage. Oh, I can even say, oh, I'm gonna add a new storage bin. This is a bin one. Um, you can see here, oh, delivery date, bottle date cost is $4, $4, all right, so now I've added a bottle in there, all right, so I bet at this point I can go to, uh, my cellar, and there it is, even has some information on it, UBC code, okay, so, other stats on there. Interesting. Um, now let's take a look at some of the other things that we have here, tasting notes. So if I wanted to taste a wine, do all that stuff, uh, I could write some tasting notes by the sound of it. Not gonna do that today, um, cause I'm fasting, cause I am, I need it. So uh, let's see here, uh, payments, I guess, visit seller to make another voluntary payment. Are there involuntary payments in seller tracker? I'm just wondering if there are after that. Um, so let's see here. Wasn't too impressed with that functionality. My subscriptions. Okay, so you can kind of subscribe to different journals, different kind of pricing. What if I click on this? Okay, so essentially what it does is it allows you to get a subscription and kind of aggregate them over here. So many subscriptions. Really? Now you let me connect social media? No, no, you need to ask for that up front. You need to ask for that up front as part of the registration process. You silly, silly people. Okay, so report problem settings. Now I'm not gonna go into their payments profile. Um, Quite honestly, I'm bored with the app now. Like, like I was, I was hoping it would actually do a little bit more. It's, it's super rudimentary. There's, it didn't let me, like, I almost disconnected from it almost instantly, to be honest, because as soon as I realized I had to put in like nine fields of information to sign into the app, that's a bit ridiculous. I'm a millennial, I don't, I don't have time to sign in for stuff. So I just want to push a button and move on. It's just, it's not cool, it's not a good experience up front. And on top of that, it's kind of, I mean, the barcode worked really well, but it's really not, what is all this stuff? Articles? What's gonna happen if I do articles? Nothing, nothing's happening. This is, I don't get what this app is trying to accomplish. How, how far can I go back before there's anything valuable that happens to me? My cellar, so I have one thing in my cellar. So I, if I want to keep track of how much I consume, which I really don't, because that'd probably be just as depressing as the fact that my entire seller probably only adds up to like a paycheck of like i don't know like it would just be bad so so it, i mean it, this is a cool interesting section because it does show hey like i have one in my cellar i have some on delivery uh, i really don't want to keep track of how many i consumed because that'd be depressing this would be almost as depressing as looking at the total value of what my seller would be so i'm i'm not going to do that um but uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, seller tracker, I mean, for, for people who have like 
make a huge selections and have like orders from coming from custom things and distributor, you might work out for me. But as, as someone who has a um, small YouTube channel in which I have a smaller wine fridge, probably is not going to be the best thing for me. So um, you guys put up a good show, could sell a tracker. Sorry, you're gone. Yeah. Anyway, this is Mr. Wood with One on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried Cello Tracker? If you're interested to know if it worked out better for you, leave a comment below, and I will see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.